um, all done with that, what you want to do to actually make it into an HTML document is go to File and then go to Save for Web and Devices. Click on that. Wait for a little bit because this takes a while. The bigger the file, the file size is, the longer it's gonna take. So right now it's a thousand by thousand, so it shouldn't take that long. Okay, so it's about to open up, and what you will see when it opens up is basically some similar tools. You could there's the there's the slicing tool, a magnify tool, a drop tool to like, and you have like a color tool and a hand tool to like move it around. So basically, you're not gonna really need to use this if you did what. I told you to do uh, if you did what I told you to do um, in like before so then once you're done with that just click save and save it I'm just gonna save it to my desktop but make sure to save it somewhere that you could like keep it there so I'm just gonna save it as test one click save oh and before you click save make sure this says the save as type make sure it says HTML and images and then the settings default settings and slices all slices so click save okay and then after that just press done you don't need to exit out of Photoshop so I'm just gonna minimize that <clears throat> so let's open it up and see what it looks like hold up a second I have to show my desktop icons okay so as you see here we have a Firefox document so if we go ahead and double click on that obviously Firefox or your default inter uh, your default Internet Explorer or whatever is going to open up displaying the page you just made so let's open that up so we just made this this website right here we just made this so that's basically it. It's right here. So now you want to add some finishing touches with Dreamweaver. So go ahead and open up Dreamweaver. Well, you can always just upload it as it is right there. But if you open up Dreamweaver, you could add text. You could add more links. You could send trip for one. And you could do a whole mess of things. Ahem. <clears throat> So once Dreamweaver loads up, you want to click open with and open it wherever it is in your computer. So in my case, it's on my desktop. So let's go ahead and open that. Just click open down here. Sorry for the lag, guys. Gets annoying. Okay, so desktop and then test one. Double click on that and it should open up momentarily. And there you have it right there. So there it is. So you could center it. Um, I will have a code up, an HTML code. So you could just copy and paste it right after this title right here where it says um, open close bracket title and then test one or whatever and then the uh, open and close bracket title so um, it's gonna have that so you just copy and paste it or pre click on that then click enter and then copy and paste the code right there on the next line so I will have a code up for that um, inside or in the video description so just copy and paste that if you want to center it and some final adjustments that you could do is add text for example if you want um, uh, this to link up to something else See, if you click on this uh, logo right here, if you click on that, you see the link says HTTP coin slash slash textworkonbat.com. Now, we could have done this inside of Dreamweaver, but Photoshop has that feature, so why not just go ahead and do it in Photoshop? So, after you're done with editing everything, just whatever you want, editing it all, just save it. Um, control, uh, control S or Control Shift and S if you want to save as, and then just upload it to your web server. As simple as that and once you upload it to your web server make sure this make sure this is really important make sure to upload every single image that comes with it as you see right here there's also an images folder with it so if you double click on that 
all the images that are involved with text program or the that website that I just made um, will be in that images folder. There's, there will be a lot, so make sure to upload every single one of them, or your website is just gonna uh, come up a bunch of broken image links, and it will look white and plain and retarded. So make sure. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure to upload all the images. See, right as you can see right here, there's all these images. So make sure to upload all of those to your web server in order to get it working. And that's it. All you have to do is that, uh, edit it in Photoshop, save it as an HTML, and then that's it. So just upload it to your web server, and that's it. So hope you guys learned something today. And remember, if you guys want me to make you one individually, it's $10. You could donate at the Text Pro Combat website, textprocombat.com. And thank you, and goodbye.